Hello, my name is Cahill, and I'll be showing you how to use RainMeter Desktop Customization Tool. So you want to open up your browser into uh, Open Tab. Um, I will be making it around this, unlike my laptop, as many of you have seen, is completely a black screen. Well, actually, it's going to be gray now, because I turned this one to gray. And just none of these icons or anything, they're all gone, it's just RainMeter. So you want to open this up, you want to look up rain meter, exactly how it sounds. And if you want to go straight to the website, just put .net on the end. So it will take you right to the website. Uh, you can read up on it, you can be me and not read a thing on it, and just download it off what people say. Um, <clears throat> so you want to download the 4.0 final release, R2746. Uh, you want to download that, just normal download, it shouldn't ask you anything, unless you're a 32-bit, I think it will ask you to download a 32-bit version. If not, it will just run as a 16-bit, and you're fine, unless you're freaking um, antivirus software, it doesn't like it. So you'll just download it, unless the beta comes out before you download this then you'll download the beta. I'm assuming it's going to be exactly the same as this one, just better. So now you'll go into your downloads where it should be. You'll click on your downloads. You will find it in your downloads or you can search it. Just make it easier because I have a lot of stuff. Uh, you'll right click it, run as administrator. It should pop up with the, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And you'll click yes. So I won't pop up with this. Before this, it'll actually pop up asking if you want it in what language you want it. So, and obviously you click English unless you don't speak English. So, if uh, there's portable installation, which I believe is where you can put it on a flash drive and move it from computer to computer. I've never done it. I don't know if I'm going to recommend it to do it or what you want to do to do it your way. I do standard installation, which puts it all on, it's all simple, and away you go. So you click next, you just launch your aimeter on startup. If you unclick that, you have to open your aimeter to get all this stuff to pop up. So that's kind of, I leave it like the way it is. You click install. It should take a few seconds, maybe a couple minutes. Some people say to uncheck Run Rain Meter. I would leave it checked because when I unchecked it, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it in any of my files, none of my program files, none of my downloads. I couldn't find it. So when you click Finish, nothing will happen. So then you, as you can see, I already have some stuff up. To find it, I would go down to your Show Hidden Icons arrow thing and I would click it through there. As you can see, I do have it pinned to my taskbar, but I find it does not open if you pin it to your taskbar and click it. If you click it like that, it opens right away. So these are your skins. Uh, I do have a few open. Fast track. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, I lost my thought. So, to get skins, you would just go to I just look up Rain Meter skins and then I click on the very first link. I've never used any of these, so I can't recommend any of them. I think the only other one I've used is probably this one, but it wasn't as smooth as using this site. This site you just find whichever one you like, you click on it, here that's fine, one, you click on it, and you click download. So and then it will download to your computer, and then you will go find it in your downloads. Mine automatically moves all new downloads to the bottom. If yours is in alphabetical order and you just open it up, it will go in alphabetical order. So when you right click on the one you want to install, and you install RainMeter Skin. 
It'll pop up with this, asking you what all you want to do. Uh, sometimes you'll get, I believe it's called theme or graphic. Underneath here, you just leave it checked, you click install, and you wait for it to install, which should take a few seconds to a couple minutes. As you can see, mine took about three milliseconds to download. So you exit out of all this, and you have your aim meter. To get the skin to pop up, you want to press refresh, and then it will pop up. So then, no, this is supposed to be a satellite, it doesn't work. As you can see, that's an example of one that doesn't work. Um, so this is the Hirami Real-Time HP Satellite, or PH Satellite. It does not work. Unless it's down at the moment, it's not working, so it's one that I would delete. Uh, I don't actually know how to delete them, because I've never had to do it. To get them to come up, you basically just find when you do. It's like normal folders. You can double click and they'll down pop. Or you can, and then you just double click the folders in. Double click and it'll pop up with stuff like RAM or my swap or stuff like that. As you can see, my computer's almost full. And I have no other drives in this computer. As you can see, because these are all zero, zero, zero. These, this is my main drive. Uh, there's hundreds, like there's ones I'll show you are network, like my wireless network, like my gateway and my download speed and all that. Then there's ones I can show you time and date, which I find are really handy. I like putting them up in this corner. And as I said in the beginning, I think, I may have not said it already, to get rid of them, you just right click and unload. Or you can find them in your rain meter, like in here, you just go time and date, you click on it, and you click unload. And then to bring it back up, you just click load. Now if you want to find centers of things, you can, oh, see now I can't click it because I put it down there. Uh, I just double clicked it, oh, I just popped it on my other screen on accident. I just double clicked it and I was able to move it. This is a 24 hour clock. I don't think there's a way to change that unless you go into the coding. So, and to display one that's working. This is one that's working. It's completely up to date. I don't know if that's true that it's week 7. Maybe week 7 in the year. But I know it is the 13th of February. So then, to display another one that's working. I don't know if this works. But to display another one, I'll open up this. I'll go into my downloads. I'll find an appropriate song because last time I did this, I clicked an inappropriate song and ruined the whole thing. So let's find an appropriate one. I know what song I'm going to go with. So then I just click it, and that one moves. And no, it doesn't work. I think I could set it to it works. When I was six years old, I broke my leg. I'm trying to keep moving. Um, now God. So, yeah, that is Rain Meter. You can set it up to the way my desktop is, or no, the way my laptop is, where it's just Rain Meter all the way. You have to use it to open Google Chrome, you have to use it to open your programs. You can set it to that. Or you can do it this way, which is where you have it on your screen along with your icons and your taskbar. Hiding your taskbar is really simple. You just go like that. All right. Oh, that's tablet mode. I'll automatically hide it, and it goes away. Now, the only reason why I'm making it this way is because I can't get rid of some of these. And I keep going over top of that, and that's really annoying. I can't get rid of some of these. Normally you can get rid of them all, but I can't get rid of Renoir. So, yeah, that is my tutorial on how to set up your rain meter. It's really simple. You basically just either you can go off this video or find another video. Cause some other people are, have more common sense than me. You can make some really cool setups like the Jarvis system I've seen. 
Um, but just make sure the video is up to date if you're going off of video. Because I found that if I used an old video, the stuff didn't work. So, that is my tips to... I don't know, setting up your winner.